Windows 11 has been a hot topic recently because a lot of people have discovered that even with fairly new, powerful hardware, Microsoft simply won't let them upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And that's got a lot of people really peeved. Recently, we put out a brand new video that addresses this issue by exploring a workaround that allows you to make that jump from Windows 10 to Windows 11 with actually very little work. It was an extremely easy method and the community came around that and we were so fortunate to have so many of you sharing some tips, tricks, successes, and everything else. So thank you for doing that. And despite the fact that the video was long-winded, Windows 11 has been an extremely positive experience for users, especially those that have older hardware. We upgraded two machines that are six, maybe seven or eight years old, and we've been having a, an amazing renaissance with the hardware that was put out in that era with the operating system of today. And since that video was published, we have been overwhelmed with so many new tips and tricks that we had to put out a new video to address some of these awesome ways to upgrade to Windows 11 and to stick it to the man in Redmond, Washington. Now, before we move on, you have to make sure the following. You have to make sure that you've logged into your Windows 10 account so that your serial number is registered correctly. If you do not do this, and if you don't have a copy of the Windows 10 serial number, when you upgrade to Windows 11, it will forget that it existed. So make sure that you either log in, write it down by extracting it or peeling the sticker off the bottom of your laptop or desktop PC if you've got one. But for the most part, if you don't have either of those things, make sure you just log in, register the machine that you're on right now, and that way the serial number will transfer digitally to your Microsoft account. After that's done, it'll make it so much easier for you to upgrade to Windows 11 because when you sign into Windows 11 for the very first time, it'll just remember a lot of the things, a lot of the settings, a lot of the preferences that you like. So to recap, if Windows 11 doesn't pass your system on the compatibility test, you might be stuck. Fortunately, we addressed that in our video somewhere over here. That method required a little bit of canoodling with the .dll file called appraiser res. This file will be mostly the focus of this video because that's the key to getting Windows 11 upgraded. So the first tip is that you may not even need that file at all. Some of our community members have told us that all you need to do is just delete the thing. Seriously, just go up, delete it and that will actually work. Now, I would take one extra step by backing up that file. Just simply copy it, put a dot back on the back of it, which means backup, and delete the original file. That way you have a pristine copy of the original file without any alterations so that in case something happens, you can just rename that file back to the original file name and you're good to go. While this is a fantastic development and a really great tip, keep in mind that Microsoft might come looking for its orphan file. So if you don't have that file available, you might have to re-download the entire thing from Microsoft. So we mentioned that Microsoft might come looking for its orphan file. Well, that's okay. This next method allows you to keep the file and also do the upgrade fairly easily as well. So all you have to do is open that .dll file with Notepad and then save it. That's all you need to do. Because what happens, and this was pointed out by one of our commenters, that once you open the, that .dll file with Notepad, it corrupts it anyway when you save it. So now you've got that file name in the directory, it's still there, and you've got an easy way where you don't have to mess with the file, delete anything, edit it, or even download an external file to replace it. Now, I would also add that you should probably make a backup of the original file, before you resave that file as well too, just to cover your butt. Now, some of you in the comments have also brought up a very, very valid concern. And that's the fact that what if Microsoft stops supporting Windows 11 on unsupported machines altogether? Well, let's unpack that for a second. You see, Microsoft itself will not block you if you install the operating system fresh. I know that's kind of weird, but hear me out. If you take the media creation tool and you create a bootable USB drive with the configuration of your system, and then you install it clean from a reboot, you can overcome a lot of those compatibility issues. Now keep in mind, a lot of clean install tutorials are already on the internet, so we won't be going through that, but I do want to leave you with two notes. Number one, when you go into the installation from the reboot, 
you must make sure that you select the operating system that you came from. You're only upgrading the version number. So if you are coming from Windows 10 Home, you need to pick Windows 11 Home. If you pick Windows 11 Pro in the installation options, you're not going to get that key for free. You're gonna to have to pay for that. And then you're gonna to have to start all over again, reformat your system and start all over again. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Speaking of formatting, the second part of this is that when you prepare the drive for the installation this time, you're going to want to pick a custom installation rather than just upgrading it or doing any of that. You're going to want to delete all the existing partitions on your drive. And keep in mind, this is the nuclear option. So if you're not prepared for this, back up and don't do this. Pick another one of the method, other methods that we've outlined. And then what you're going to want to do is delete all of those partitions, format that drive, and then select the entire drive to be partitioned out by Windows 11 all over again. And that will get you from point A to point B without a single compatibility nag. Now, keep that in mind though, Windows 11 didn't tell you that it wasn't compatible. So you should be receiving updates for the foreseeable future, we think. So there you have it, two super easy methods of installing Windows 11 upgrade powered by our community. Thank you so much, you know who you are. And one method that is a little bit more on the safe side, I believe, because we're stepping into a very major upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. This method also skips over all those compatibility checker issues that the other two methods address, which makes it a arguably a more streamlined process. Now keep in mind, you will lose everything, but when you log back into your Windows account, you're going to get most of those settings back, especially if you backed up with OneDrive before you did any of this. All right, so there you have it. That's one community-driven video for you guys. And thank you so much for being part of our community. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers and we need some more, and we need more of you guys to help us out. So make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave a ton of comments below because I love answering them and we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.